Hi, it's David in the Glass Studio again. This time I've moved back into uh, the area that we build our uh, shipping crates because uh, this is just a little special piece that we wanted to do for the, the DVD. On your PDF there's a plan for how to make your own fan lamp base. But here's how you make one. You, first of all, I bought a bunch of, uh, of oak, cut it down to it, it's one inch by four inch planks. Now, one inch in wood is usually closer to three quarters of an inch. And so when I put both of them together, I, I put both of them together and then I glued them. Once I got them glued, then I have the width that I need for the height of a good fan lamp base. After I um, glued them together and they had dried overnight, I put them on the saw, first cut all of the boards so that this first side was cut perfectly flush, turned it around and made it a little bit smaller and cut that so it was perfectly flush. Then after that, I cut a bunch of boards into smaller chunks. Here's a, here's a set of, uh, of three. You'll see this is about one inch, this is about two inches, and this is about an inch. I cut each of the two end pieces off so that I wouldn't cut through this piece. Then I put this piece upside down onto my fence and I went through and cut each of the... Uh, I had to do three passes so that the slot would, would be the right width for when you put your fan lamp in. Now, I've got two of them here that I didn't finish the third pass. You see I've got the first pass and the second pass and there's just this little bit of waste here in the middle. I thought you might be interested in seeing what that looks like. Now I have the guards removed. Naturally you wouldn't uh, uh, do the woodwork with your, your guards removed, but you'll see now it's got a nice clean slot in it. And now these can be uh, can, uh, glued up. Over here I have a set of blocks that have already dried, so all three pieces become one. Uh, I've got another set that I'm putting in the glue clamps Pretty soon they'll be done. As soon as these have, have cured, I'm going to give them another 12 hours. And then I'll sand them. Once I've got them sanded nice and flat and, and smooth all the way around, I will then drill a hole in the back, in the middle, and that will give us a, a place. Here's a, here's a manufactured one. Um, and and these will all have a, a hole so that we can put the hardware for the light kit. Um, then after, after they're all done, I'll lacquer some and I'll stain and lacquer some others. Uh, this commercial one has a little uh, slot in it for the uh, electrical device, the electrical cords. Anyhow, that's, uh, that's how you can go about doing it. You can follow the uh, instructions that are on the PDF. Well here's the finished base. You'll see that I've drilled a hole. I went over to a friend's house to use his drill press and you'll notice also that I did cut a slot into this, uh, this bottom space so that our electrical cord would work properly. Well now here's the electrical cord and you can see that it's just got a spring clip on it. It's really quite easy. It's just it, you just insert it into the one inch diameter hole and you want to get it in far enough so that the clips are not going to scratch any surface when they drag on the on a table or something of that nature. You can then bend the uh, electrical cord up and it will then sit flat. 
it'll sit flat if you have a flat surface for it to write on. And then, of course, then the little bulb can get screwed in. Let's see, I, I had this switch to the on position. So there's the little bulb, and then here's how your fan lamp sits right on top. And I think that's a pretty good, pretty good looking base. Uh, there's a lot of work involved in it, but it's a lot cheaper than, than uh, buying one. And so you have your uh, an alternative to, uh, uh, to, to just buying them. Uh, I, I do think there are a couple of things that I could do on the next batch that I uh, run differently. I might consider, since my friend had that, uh, that plunge router, then instead of cutting these ends off, I could just plunge down in, go across to a stop, and then plunge back out. And that might, be, uh, that might uh, save me some time. But it's a pretty good looking little base. Uh, it took a lot of sanding, um, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it.